Kahala Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukal Kadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukal Kadash, Peace and blessings to great millstone, the apostle and elders on down who rule well and are worthy of double honors. Peace and, and taught me the truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect men who's pushing this truth of faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth so we can go home and make Jerusalem and pray sake throughout the earth. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Makokadash, Rock of Thumb, tell you sincere listeners. All right. And I want to name this uh, lesson. Uh, the, the chief thing for life is, is bread and water, all right? And, and, and that is the chief thing for life, man. All right, you don't, you don't have to have uh, much, man. All right, how about Shimei uh didn't, uh, he, he, he didn't, uh, he didn't tell us we need, uh, so we need to be rich and, and have this, a big ass house and, and, and have so called blessings, all right? So, so the only so called blessing is to have is this word, man, all right? And the true doctrine is pure form, man, all right? To have, uh, is to love the Lord, fear fear his uh fear the Lord and, and follow his commandments, all right, and, and everything else to fall in place, all right. We cause uh we gotta uh keep ourselves in check, man. Set 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 our uh selves in order, man, all right, because you know, I be uh you know, I'm fucked up, man. I don't make a lot of money, man. I I'm just keeping one thousand with you brothers, man. All right. I, I, I ain't got nothing to hide, man. All right, I only make eight dollars an hour, man, you know. Shit, you know, and uh me and my wife uh together man all right we we both make eight dollars an hour man all right that that ain't shit man all right my rent alone is uh 670 man all right then including utilities our right, gas money our right, uh and, and uh two children all right but uh yeah how about see me outside always brings me uh through to to have enough all right, to, to take care of my uh responsibilities, man, and take care of my family. All right, I might be scrounging by, or right, I might be a little late on my rent. You know, I might uh be riding on E. You know, I might not be able to uh get anything else. All right, you know, but I, I may be right right on the barrier, man. All right, but you yeah, how about see me outside? Uh, always uh make sure I'm okay. All right, I always have a place to stay. All right, I, I'm behind on my rent right now. All right, uh. I missed the month, you know, but uh Yahweh Bashim through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, he, he makes sure I'm okay, man. All right. My my transmission on my car going out, all right. So so these are things that uh th this is affliction, all right, that that, you, that you're facing from, from serving the Lord, all right. But uh this th these these are not things that should should take you away from serving the Lord and, and make you feel like oh you gotta do this and that. And, and this, all right, to, to, to get more. All right, as long as you have the, the key essentials, you good, all right? And I'm going to start with one of my first uh, scriptures, um, one of my favorite scriptures right here. All right, it says, uh, which, it, it, which it ain't nothing wrong with having money, all right, because money is a defense. It ain't nothing wrong with going to get money, all right? It's nothing wrong with that, man. But that shit is just, it, it's, it's really, uh, that, that shit really vanity, man, all right? You're supposed to, and I'm going to start up. I'm just start right here, all right? This is uh, Sirach chapter 29, verse 11. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High. Yeah, lay up your treasures according to the commandments of the Most High, man. All right, don't lay up your treasures uh, according to your own beliefs of you needing money uh, to, to, to so-called survive. And you need money to get into a bigger house. And you need money to get a better car. Or you need money to eat better. You need money to, to do this and that for your children. You need this uh, money to, to do this for your woman. All right, as long as uh, you have the key essentials to life, you good. All right, I'm going to go into it. All right. It says, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Yeah, it can bring you more profit than gold for laying up your treasures within heaven, man. All right, laying up your treasures within the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, as long as you working a little job, man, you got what's necessary uh, to, to take care of yourself and take care of your family, man. All right, that, that's, that's it, man. All right, you, you don't need uh, nothing else, man. All right, you know, now you might have children that you might not be able to be with. And, you know, everybody's situation different, man. All right, but lay up your treasures according to the commandments of the Most High. So if it's not according to the commandments of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, then fuck that shit, man. All right, don't stress yourself over that shit, man. All right, don't be trying to go uh do 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 uh other things to get money, man. All right, serve the Lord first, and everything else will fall in place, man. All right. 
this uh jump it down to uh 21 all right this is my favorite scripture all right one of, one of my favorite scriptures so like this is Sirach, chapter 29 verse 21 the chief thing for life is water yeah the chief thing for life is water and bread all right and bread and clothing and in house to cover um, cover shame all right these so these are the chief things of life man all right some water some bread, all right. It, it ain't gotta be no Italian Hawaiian rolls, man. All right, it ain't gotta be no uh Fiji uh water, man. All right, it ain't gotta be no uh no designer clothing, man. All right, it don't have to be uh uh a condo or 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 three four bedroom house, man. All right, it it it, it says a, a life is water. And bread and clothing in a house to cover shame. All right, so to cover shame. That's it, man. All right, so even if you in a little one two bedroom, man. All right, even if you uh don't have the best clothing, man. It, it's it came from the dollar store, man. All right, you got some bread, man. It's it's, it's uh two for two dollar bread, man. All right, uh and, and some water, man. You pray over that bread in the water. Are right? you 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 pray to the Lord uh, to water for giving you that house, man. All right, you pray um. Thank you that you got some clothes to keep you warm, man, and keep you cool, man. That's it. All right. Jumping down to verse 22. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. All right. And, and this is another man's house. All right. This is Esau's house, man. All right. The wicked's house, man. All right. So it, it's better to, to, to uh, be in a mean cottage. All right. Which uh, if you serve in your house by Shin Yao Shai. Are right, you in the furnace of adversity? So you in a mean cottage, man. Are right, you not gonna have it all, man? All right, but it's better to be in the house of the Lord than to be in the house of Esau, man. All right, with a delicate fair man, because uh, the end of uh, that's that's the end of all men. All right, and I'm gonna jump over to the next chapter. All right, this is uh, Sirach chapter thirty, verse fourteen. Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body yeah because uh you in, in this world are right, you 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 uh trying to eat how you want to eat that, that that's causing uh health problems man are you trying to uh stay in the house you want to stay in man all right that's that's causing stress trying to keep up the bills on it man are you trying to wear a uh, certain type of fabrics or right, it's putting uh and, and clothing or right, it's putting shit in your body and also causing stress on you man all right, because you, you want to uh, stay looking good and feeling good. So you got to keep dry cleaning and trying to keep it clean. All right, don't waste nothing on it, man. All right, uh, go find the best of the best to, to outwear somebody. Man, fuck all that, man. All right, you trying to get uh this this piece of bread that, that, that tastes so good and this water that's so clean. All right, it, it's about serving your how about shimmy out shot and believing and, and faith and hope. Pray over that food, man. All right, pray to the Lord to water for what you got, man. All right, and the Lord going to uh, cleanse that. All right, and you're and you going to be clean, man. All right. Let me get this in Luke. All right. This is Luke. It's lucky. This is Luke. Let me get this in Luke chapter 6. All right, Tawadi, how about Shem Yahweh? Shout out this Luke chapter 6, verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Yeah, woe to you who are rich because you have received your consolation. Are right, you want to eat now? Are right, you want to eat good now? You want to dress fresh now? You want to be in the best house now? All right, you, you, you're not laying up your treasures according to heaven, man. All right, so you, so you 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 uh want to uh, attain these riches within the moment? Are right, you not gonna uh attain riches within the eternal kingdom? All right, it says, verse twenty five: Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Yeah, woe to you who are full, cause ye shall hunger. All right, cause Yahweh by Shem is finna bring a great famine, man. All right, then he's also finna bring a uh, great destruction, man. All right, then uh, he's also finna bring a famine of the word. You're going to be hungry seeking the Lord. All right, you're not going to find him. All right, you, you're not going to find a uh, spiritual bread or, or physical bread. All right, it says, woe unto you that laugh now for ye shall weep later. Right, so you you laugh now because the man of the Lord are, 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 are um, not not so uh, well off all right, in your eyes. Are right, they not doing so well in your eyes? The, these men uh, struggling, all right, you, you look at them as lowly. Uh, nothing's all right, but 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 woe unto you, which means destruction unto you, because you can laugh at the man of the Lord now, 
for for being happy with the little bit that they got are you women are you can shit on the man of the lord now all right for, for them not having so much them being so-called broke man all right but when all our hell and calamity come upon you 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 you're gonna uh weep then all right and so lucky i got one more i got well i got a couple more all right so lucky brothers all right this is uh proverbs chapter 11 verse 4 it says riches profit not in the day of wrath yeah riches don't profit you nothing in the day of wrath all right the the, the, the food you was eating good on in, in in the house you had they got destroyed in the clothes that's that's disintegrated off your body all right that you uh that you have to continually wear each day all right and, and the water that that you can't even uh enjoy all right that's that's not uh, the, the water that you can't drink now all right that's that's not gonna profit you nothing in the day of wrath riches don't profit nothing in the day of wrath all right but righteousness shall deliver righteousness deliver from death your righteousness deliver from death man all right uh stacking up water bread and, and clothes and, and and having a nice house ain't gonna deliver you from wrath all right serving the lord and laying up your treasure in heaven is gonna deliver you from wrath man all right, let me get this. All right, this is another one of my favorite scriptures. All right, Lord willing, I can find it. Salakia. All right, call hello, you how about some y'all? Sorry, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 24. It says, and again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeah, it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle, all right? And that, that's not even happening, man. All right, for a rich man to get into the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? So, so you 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 got to pick a side, man. Or you got to uh pick uh pick 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 a side, man. Are you either going to suffer for Yahweh by seeing me outside, all right, or or or, or 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 uh take the the things of this world, all right, to to vain, all right? And let me get this in, in Timothy, Lord willing, I could pull it. All right, I got to get ready to wrap it up. Can't make these videos too long. All right. Lord willing, this is edifying for you, brothers, okay? All right, this is uh, Timothy. It's 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse... Nine. It says... Well, verse 8, it says... Well, I started seven. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain for we can carry nothing out. Yeah, we brought nothing in this world, so we can't bring nothing out. All right, so lay up your treasure according to heaven. All right, it says, and having food and raiment, let us be their content. Yeah, having food and raiment, let us be their content with that, man. All right, that's good enough. All right, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which draw man in destruction and perdition. Yeah, you 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 get drowned in, in, in uh chasing after the things of this world, all right, and you end up getting destroyed, all right. And let me uh jump down to 17. It says, Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. All right, yeah, these are uncertain riches within this world. But in the living power, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, who gives us richly all things to enjoy, right? He's given us all things richly to enjoy, which are not the things of this world, okay? And hold on, so like I got one. And I'm going to get this, brother, and I'm going to get ready to wrap it up, okay? This is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in vain. Right, so you have to be convenient, uh, I mean, content, or right, whatever Yahweh by Shem Yahweh gives you, man. All right, that don't mean that you don't uh go don't go take care of your business. All right, you do what uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You do what's necessary to take care of yourself, all right, which is just work a little job, work a job, all right, uh, handle your business all right whatever your business may be use your talents to uh get your food and your water all right and, and be happy with, with, with what you got man all right nothing more nothing less man all right unless you take the name of your how about shim yahweh shine in vain all right so lord willingness was edifying i want to give our praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shah by shim all right peace and blessings the great millstone the apostle elders on down who rule well and talk me this truth and, and shalom to the elect